Hey guys, this is Aaron with Pocketables, and today I'm taking a look at the Amazon Kindle Fire with Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich. Now, I know you might be thinking that Ice Cream Sandwich has been out on the Kindle Fire for quite a while. And that's true, I took a look at one of the original alpha builds when I first reviewed the device, which was a number of months ago. However, back then, all the builds had a problem. They were using an old version of the Linux kernel, which didn't have hardware acceleration. And that meant very choppy graphics and games not working, and generally a bad overall experience if you actually wanted to use your Kindle as a tablet. However, the 3.0 kernel, which fixes all those issues, has recently come out, and I think it's finally become mature enough that a Kindle Fire with Android 4.0 and the 3.0 kernel could be a viable tablet to an everyday consumer. So let's just take a quick look at how well Android 4.0 now runs on the Kindle Fire. First, we've got the lock screen, which, as you can see, unlocks very fast. Uh, home screen transitions are smooth, even with a live wallpaper. You may recognize this from the Nexus One, but the live wallpaper performs as expected, as does the home screen transitions. And even things like the app drawer and uh, graphics-intensive games, like Minecraft Pocket Edition, run quite well with the 3.0 kernel and hardware acceleration enabled. There's no noticeable lag, at least in Minecraft, and the game actually looks very good. Uh, the one exception I found is that some Gameloft games don't like to work on the Fire because it doesn't see the Fire as a supported device. But other than that, pretty much any intensive game, even Shadowgun, will run on the Kindle Fire with the 3.0 kernel. Now, there is one other app that had been having issues, and that's Netflix. It still doesn't work on the CyanogenMod 9 builds, but this is a Kang build. And even though it's very similar, it does have a small tweak that makes Netflix work. So, let's just take a quick look at the Playback stream to prove that it really is working properly. If my wireless will catch up and show us something. But anyway, with the 3.0 kernel, I think it's the Kindle Fire can finally be a true ice cream sandwich tablet. Now, everything works, including Wi-Fi. Of course, I mean, there's not much to get to work because the Kindle doesn't include GPS, Bluetooth, or anything like that. However, everything that is there works properly now, and as you can see, Netflix is playing back smoothly, and the video looks good. So that's just a quick look at the Kindle Fire with Ice Cream Sandwich and the all-important 3.0 kernel with hardware acceleration. Uh, keep your eyes out for a installation tutorial sometime in the coming weeks because now that Ice Cream Sandwich is finally ready for more mainstream average consumer use, I think I'll try to write up some kind of how-to in the coming weeks. Thanks.